Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. All right, today is Tutorial Tuesday or Teach It Tuesday or Try It Tuesday or whatever we want to call I'm changing it every week um, with whatever fits for me. Um, so we're working on the bee, uh, Summer Bees Flippy Flappy Folio Journal. I'm still not sure where the journal part's coming in. I'm working on that. Uh, like I said, we're doing it as we go. So let me show you. Let me move this stuff out of the way because this is what we're going to be working on tonight. It shouldn't take too, too long. But this is what I have thus far, okay? Uh, we did this. I finished this. I did seal this off. Uh, it's no longer going to be able to go through. I sealed it down uh, so it'll only work from this side. And I'm going to put a piece of lace probably along here. So I just kind of put a plug in where I put the thumb hole but that's gonna cover that. Um, so we have that. And what I did was I scored this, this flap. So now we have another spine in here, okay? So when we close this, it looks like this on this side and this on this side. Okay, this was the original spine. Now I've sort of made this. And when I flush this out, when I fill it up, this won't be so, you know, like concave. So that's what we did. I finished this um, off camera. So this was the pockets in here, okay? Um, when I did this thing and, and put the uh, little closure on it, I realized I should have done that before I put the envelope in. So I just put some paper down here so no, nothing would snag on it, more or less. So that is that part done. Okay, and we did this one before, which you know. Still working on what I wanna do with this. This is only paper clipped on because this was the other flap like this, okay? This is that one now, um, and this is gonna make a tuck spot, but I only paper clipped it on because I wanted to show you what I was doing with it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and glue this one down, and actually we'll glue it from here. I'll glue it, I'll glue it with this. And then I'll show you a little bit about what we're gonna do on that flap. I may be off. Um, screen here. I'll come down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one on to make a tuck on this page. And you can see it didn't go all the way to the end with the paper because what's the point if it's going to be underneath? It just saves a little bit of paper. I'll come back and I'll glue some of that down. But let me lay this flat for right now and I will put right side up I will put this on here okay so that should be pretty good I think I need to push it back and pull it out and make it a little more even here and then I think I'm okay Okay, so we glued that one on. Okay, I think I got all. And now that makes this a, never had something when I need it, a little pocket in here. Okay, so that's what we have on that one. Now I'm gonna take this piece, I made another piece with a flap on it. I made this flap as big as the spine, okay, just a hair less. And I'm gonna put that on there, one that's gonna reinforce the spine, and then I'm gonna cover that with something a little later on. But what I'm gonna do on this piece, and I'm gonna do it before I put it in the book, uh, in the folio, is I'm going to do what I'm calling now uh, an offset belly band. And we'll get to these in a minute. Okay. But we're gonna do an offset belly band. So what I did, was, get these out of the way, I put this down like this on the paper. I lined up the end here, let me get up here, lined up the edge of the paper here, not the flap, and the end of the paper here, okay? Line that up, and then here, I mark the top and the corner, okay? And that is just a guideline for me so that I can see where I'm placing these, okay? Because I'm gonna make a belly band. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue these down 
by these marks. I'm going to have to flip this around because I can't see that mark from where I am. I'm just, you know, a little wacky like that. And then we're going to put this one down on the end here. And this one's just going to go in the middle. Okay. Just like that. Actually, I'm probably going to bring them in a little bit because I don't want it to go full page. I'll bring them in. Mm, I don't know, three eighths of an inch, maybe. And like that. So we'll start with this one because I can see it easy. <laughs> it's on the bottom. This is going to be probably a relatively quick uh, Tuesday video. It won't be too, too long. I'm doing this at night again, so and it's late, and I've got things I've got to take care of and get ready for bed and all that kind of jazz and so I can get up in the morning. So um, just trying to get a little bit more done and let you watch, you know, where I'm going with this. I'm not sure where I'm going with the rest of it, so I hadn't prepared because I haven't thought of it yet. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to to come up with. So I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to bring it in about, oh, I'm going to bring it up just a hair from the bottom, just a bit. Okay. And I'm going to put that down. Here's my mark, and I brought it in about three-eighths of an inch. I'm going to turn this one around. There's static on here. I don't know what it is with me and static this year. My goodness, my hair, my sheets, everything. Everything's got, and I use fabric softener. I use uh, dryer sheets. I don't know what is going on, but I've been doing pretty good for the last several years with not having shocks, um, you know, like touching things and, and getting a shock. I have a funny story to tell you. Um, happened one time years ago, years, years, about, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. I um, was in my office. All right, here's my mark here, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring that down just probably a little bit more. I'll bring that over a bit because I want, I want a good angle. Only because I think this mark was probably too low. So I'm going to bring it there. And I'm not too worried about the glue, honestly, because I'm going to cut around this. Okay, let me find my... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I have it. Here it is. I'm going to get this and smoosh it down a little bit. Um, so anyway, I was in my office, and my office door always stayed locked, Okay. Um, just, it was just how it was, you know, kind of set up and I could unlock it, but that meant every time I walked out, I had a, to get back in, I had to unlock it and I was in and out all the time. So I just kept it locked because it was, there was, uh, private as, you know, in most of all of my offices, there was confidential information about people and things. And so my office really needed to remain locked. So, um, I just always kept it locked. So my cook came down the hall and he knocked on the door and I said to him, wait a minute. And all I would do is I would, I, my office chair was on wheels. So I would just slide over to the door and hit the handle because it was a, a latch, like a lever type handle. And I would just hit the handle and, and the door would pop open. Well, I said, wait a minute, I or something to that effect. And he thought I said, come in. And so as I slid over on my chair to hit the door lever, he also touched the door lever from the other side. Now, across from my office door was a bench um, that, you know, if anybody needed to see me and they had to wait, they would just, you know, sit on the bench. <laughs> I hit the handle on the door and I, my light was on uh, in my office, but it sent sparks out. These blue sparks came out from my hand in the handle and it hurt me. And I hear this thud and a groan on the other side of the door. I open the door and there's John, my cook, sprawled out on the bench because I gave him a shock through the door. <laughs> so I'm usually, I was like this all the time from like, you know, November to April. And then it stopped and now it's back. So beware, don't touch anything. <laughs> touch. I give myself shocks. It's crazy. So, okay. So this is what I've done. If I have to trim, I will. 
but this is what I've done. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this with my bigger scissors. Now I'm going to do it with my smaller scissors. Now I'll do it with my big scissors. I can't make up my mind. I'll do the longer parts with my big scissors. I still do not have a tag. I will be decorating the panels and the pockets and things in here, um, but I have not done that yet. So let me try to get this one. I'm going from the other side and that's harder for me to see. So my apologies for holding it up so I can cut it, but okay. So I've never done this before, but I think this will work, should work. I don't see why it shouldn't. So I'm just giving it a whirl as it were. Okay, and now with these small, smaller areas, I'm gonna take my smaller, my smaller scissors and come down this way on this one. Now again, as you can see, I'm still using the file folder for this. Um, I also had another thought. I save, I get these beautiful um, calendars. Do I have one down here? I do not. Um, they're usually pretty, pretty big and um, country type pictures and, um, you know, paintings and things like that. And um, I save them because I hate to throw away the calendars because the pictures are so pretty. But, you know, what can I do with a dozen pictures every year? You know what I mean? That's just insane. So I... Um, I save them and I'm not sure what to do with them. I keep saying, well, you know, maybe someday I'll take some of the pictures I like that, you know, the best and I'll take them out and frame them and, you know, whatever. And then I was thinking, I still might do that, but I hate to throw the rest of them away. And um, so I came up with the idea that I would just I'll put that up there because I can get a little tab out of that. I came up with the idea that I can just... Um, yeah, I'm going a little too close in here, but I am where I am. Um, to use it for things like this, you know, to back belly bands or back pockets or something like that. Um, the pictures are really beautiful and I hate to lose them, but I can't possibly, you know, for like, I've been buying these calendars for 10 years. That's 120 pictures. How many pictures? And, and, and I'm going to get more calendars. So how many pictures can I possibly put up? in my home so not to mention the frames okay so that's the book this is what i want so i'm going to go ahead because i've got a few places here that need some glue uh oh i didn't cover my glue from my last bout i did two videos today so it is saturday the 18th and I did my Sunday video. So you'll see my Sunday video um, in just a few hours. And um, then this one will go on Tuesday. So I did two back to back because I'm trying to get caught up again. I get caught up and then I fall behind again <laughs> between work and other obligations. I don't always Stay ahead. I'm just trying to kind of check the corners a little bit. Everything seems this is a little, little, a little short. So I'll go and put some glue in here if I can get in there. There we go. Come on. There we go. Don't fight me on this. You want to be glued? I know you do. There we are. Okay. Get my uh, up oh, right there. Alrighty, now I'm going to get it inked, and then we're going to put it on, and I still will have to make a um, card for it, a long, and I'll have to make that. It'll have to be a long, kind of a long tag that'll go in here. Um, you know, I keep thinking, oh, I can make like a small journal, and then I think I don't have enough room height-wise to take that kind of thickness so it's going to have to just be a tag or two and you know I'm so I'm still not sure where the journal's going I have a feeling 
I am not gonna leave the covers the covers. I think I'm gonna put stuff on top of the front cover here. Oop, you don't want that. Um, and I think this is where the journal is actually gonna go. And then on the back, I think I'm gonna do some other flappy things and then it'll be really much bigger than I ever intended. So, <laughs> okay. So here we have the panel. And here, now these also are from My Porch Prints. I do believe they are hers. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put that on here and this will now become a belly band. So that looks absolutely perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna put some glue on. And when I do belly bands, I like to make my glue line thick because one, I, it holds better, I think, but two, I think it helps to keep it a little bit um, closer to the paper, to the base paper um, or card, uh, so that the, the tags or journaling cards don't fall out as easy. Um, a lot of that I know matters on how big you actually make them. So, all right, so I wanna try to go about here and about there. I think I can move over just a wee bit. Let me make sure that's straight. That is straight. Let's wipe these puppies off. Okay, and I'm gonna pull this down just to be sure. All right, so that's what we have. And then if I have something, I'm looking for scrap here. This is what I do with my scrap ones. All right, that's too long, <laughs> but you know what? Might make a good tag anyway, but I'll do it with this one so you can see. So this is now a belly band, okay? So we'll have a belly band here, and I may put more than one tag in here. So that's what we have here. So I'm calling this an offset belly band, taking tags and putting them together and offsetting them instead of doing a straight line. Um, Doing it like that. I thought that was clever. Clever and cute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put this and I'm going to attach it here. Okay. We're going to do that with this glue because it'll hold quicker. And I will cut a strip later to go down there. Probably be easier to do it now, but I wasn't ready for it. So. I will play with that off camera because it will probably take me a couple of tries <laughs> to get it all even in the right um, width, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, we want to make sure there's plenty of glue on this because we don't want it coming off. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do it while it's bent so that I get a better straighter line, I hope. Let's see how that looks here. Okay, you can push that down a little more. Yeah. Okay, as long as it's sitting straight is the main thing. All right, so there we have that, okay? So this is gonna have a tag when you open it up or a uh, journaling card or something so it won't look so plain and I'll probably do some things along the way so that's what we have so far when you open it then you open it this way and we have this as the pocket we have this as a tuck this is a tuck as well here then this opens and that has the pockets in there this is now a belly band and then this one opens like so and then we're going to do something in here as well which I haven't done yet Okay, and then there's going to be something on here as well, probably some sort of pockets. I'll, I may do a belly band on this side going horizontally, and then I'll probably put a pocket or two on this page. I'm still trying to decide, so, um, and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. I don't know. It'll probably be some sort of a pocket, but I, I just don't know yet. I haven't come up with anything clever. So what I'm going to do here. I wanted these to flip, um, but I think 
I'm not going to have them flip. I think what I'm going to do is, I was gonna do them here across the belly band, like so. But I'm not sure if I, and I didn't glue this one together because I wanted to show you what I did. Here is the um, flange, okay, which is this. And then here I did the pocket, but I just had the, the paper here. So that would just go over the end and cover the end like so, okay? And I need, I was hemming and hawing because this puts a hole in it, this cutter, this uh, punch that I have. And I thought, this isn't the tag, but I thought, you know, we always put the ribbon on the tag. Why not put it on the pocket instead? So I'm still trying to decide if I want to do these here and do them over the belly band here. This, and actually I'll go like this. I have two of one and one of the other. Or not, I don't know. But let me show you how I did this. And I still have to back them forgot to do that. So what I did here was I, I measured my piece. I measured it extra long because the cutter, the, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a cutter, the punch will take off part of that. So I have this punch that does this top and I don't know how well you can see that. Let me stand up. Okay. It does a two and a half, which has all of the bumps. It does a two inch, which knocks off these on the end. And then it has a one and a half inch, which knocks off everything except from here up. So all of that comes off. So, and this is how the, the spaces look. So that's the one and a half, that's the two inch, and that's two and a half. So I've got two and a half inches, okay, is what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Oh, and these little marks I have on the side are when I do larger ones. I think these were three inch. I think this was a three inch one and then I have to hand trim the corners but I do do that from time to time so this is a hair bigger no it's not so I put it all the way up and this is a hard one to push so okay and that's what you're that's what it cuts off okay so now it's the same size as the other ones and then I'm just gonna I glue I did this and then put just a little uh notch in the top so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one to this one, matching the fold on the bottom, and that should match the top here with these on this one. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I do have to back them. So I'm not gonna put them on yet because I'm, I like them and I know I'll use them. I'm just not sure where, because I got a different, different idea <laughs> for what I wanted to do on that page by doing that offset belly band, and I'm not sure that I wanna cover that. So I may be putting them in on something else. So we'll see what happens. It may go on, let me get these off. It may go on this one, okay? I may do it on that one, but we'll see. Or maybe on the other one, I don't know. I'm just kinda of doing this as I go. So I wanna get this to go where that fold is, okay, line that up, and then I can push this, and again, like I usually like to do, I like to push it in from the sides up here just a wee bit, because it gives a little, um, a little space, so it's easier to get a tag in and out, okay, and now these tags are probably going to be about only two inches or so, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. So the way they would look then, if I did it on this side, would be this one in the middle, this one, or the other one, either way, top and bottom. So I did the flowers with the stripes, the stripes with the flowers, and the flowers with the stripes. And I meant them to flip open, okay? They would be plain on the back, and you can write there if you wanted to, um, but that's what I had meant. And these I'll probably put like some sorry silk or something in. So that's what we did thus far with that. Now let me check my time. Okay, it's only 24 minutes. So I think what I wanna do while I'm sitting here is decide what paper I wanna put here 
and what I want to do with it. Um, I think, and I'm not sure, I may not have enough of what I'm thinking here. I may, may not. I may, I may not. I think I'd like to do a whole strip of this. So I can probably still do that without any real ado here. I'm going to I'm really trying to think what I want to do with that, with those little pockets. Um, they may end up getting used on the other side. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go down here with my anchor a little bit. Try to get this done some. There we go. That's better. Okay. And we'll cover that one. And then, like I said, I'm not really sure what else I want to do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and ink at least part of this. Okay. Okay, that's good for the moment. We're going to go ahead and put this down. Put some glue on here. All right. And now I'm going to knock something off because I'm resting my arm on all kinds of things over here. Okay. All right. I think I'll just do this from here first. Work my way from left to right. And then maybe I won't get my clothes in the glue. Which would be nice. So we had more snow today. For two days it wasn't too bad. It was fairly fair. Uh, Thursday it was actually sunny and warm. It was lovely. and Like barely any wind. It was just really a nice day. And uh, here's Saturday and it's snowing. <laughs> yeah. So that didn't make me too happy, needless to say. So anyway, but spring starts on Monday and according to my weather app on my phone, it's supposed to be in the 50s and sunny and it's not saying anything about wind, which is great. Because you know, sometimes some of the temperatures aren't so terribly bad if it wasn't for the wind. The wind just makes it like unbearable. I had to go to the post office today and I had to go up to a higher level on another mountain to get to the post office. And uh, oh my gosh, I got out of the car and I had you know, a shirt on and I had a sweater on and I had my coat. It's not a winter, winter coat. I'm trying to get rid of all of that. It's not a winter, winter coat, but it's like a, a windbreaker kind of canvassy sort of poplin. I guess it's poplin is what it is, coat. But I had the sweater on underneath it and I had my scarf and, you know, and then another shirt on underneath the sweater and all of that. And yet I got out of that car and that wind blew and I'm telling you, I'm gonna pull this up a little higher. It went right through me. It went right through me, the wind. It's awful. I'm trying to get this up without bending it anymore because I'm just a little too low. So I'm gonna stand up and try to get my top lined up better here because I had been, I'm not doing much better, there we go. When it's not all completely glued down, it's easier for me to to move it and manipulate it. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, that'll work. Um. So yeah, just oh. I mean, I could just feel it go right through my coat, my sweater, my shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, it was ridiculous. I don't know what the temperature was, but it was cold. <laughs> 
It's like in, yesterday was like spring. Oh, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's get my big scissors. Those are not them. These are them. <laughs> and we'll try cutting along the edge here without cutting anything valuable. So I like this idea. I really do. I think it looks neat. It's a little different. And uh, really think it looks nice this way. So these don't get sometimes quite as close as I'd like them to. Either I get too close and start snipping things off that I don't want to snip, or I don't get close enough. And uh, then I have trouble with little white edges hanging out that I have to go back and clip with my thinner, smaller scissors, which I can see is going to happen here. So come on, you can do it. Here we are. All right. Yep. I see a little spot in here that I need to get. Now I just got these other scissors. If you had watched the uh, unboxing that I had done for your creative studio, I got these pretty little like embroidery scissors, but I think they're going to work very well for um, fussy cutting. Maybe I'm going to try to see, but no, no, I can't get close enough with them. It's too bad. Still can't find any scissors that work quite as well as these little guys. And believe me, when I say I have scissors, I have scissors. Sitting on my desk right now, there's one, two, three, four, including those five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pairs of scissors just on my desk. <laughs> there's more in the drawer under here. Crazy. Just all, all sizes. There's pinking shears and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So what have I done? What have I done? I don't know. What have I done? Here we go. I'll figure it out. Give me a second, guys. Too flippy floppy for me. All right. So there we have that. So we have our belly band. We have this page done. We have this page done. Now the question is going to be, what do I want to do with those? So, um, I don't know. I don't want to just do something randomly just to do it. Now this was sewing. So what do I have? If I want to make a pot. Ooh, you know what I can do? Which I think I already did these. Oh, I think they're going to be too. I can do, I can do, I can do one of these. Okay, which it doesn't have a real tag for it. It has a small tag, I think, that's meant to go in it, but I don't want to. Uh... Do I like it here? It's this paper. You see? You see, it's this paper. I think I kind of like it on there. Now, I stitched around this one. Um, this is really for the sewing journal, but... I kind of like that on here. Let me find the bee stuff. I don't know where the bee stuff is. I think this is the bee stuff. But I haven't glued anything yet together. Um, yeah, these are going to be too wide. But I've got tickets and things that I can do. I can do those side. Th Ooh, that's an idea. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I think, all right, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the pocket on here, and we're probably just going to go ahead and call that a night. Um, what about this? What if I, I don't know, maybe. I was thinking about doing this, I put it on a, card or something or another piece of paper, probably just another piece of paper and put it on here so that it can open so you can write and make in a pocket here as well. So that's a possibility, but I, I do like this on, 
on its own paper. So we're going to do that. And then I'll work on, as I said, because these are kind of odd um, sizes, I am probably going to have to, um, make, you know, custom make layer and custom make um, some tags for this folio. So I think, I think I'm gonna have to do that. So let's go ahead here, I'm trying to get the glue on the um, thread because I sewed these around these and um, yeah. All right. So I think that is good right about there. Yeah, I think so. Pinch that in a little bit. Give myself that little that little bubble so it doesn't get too heavy there. And then I'm wondering, do I want to do these? Which way did I have these? Where's my other one? I don't need this anymore. Let me put that away. Uh, yeah, it was like that. You know, I might put them here. I'd have to put another strip of paper here to cover them, but I think I might put them here. But I still have to do the backs, which I can do. So they may go there. Yeah, you know what? I think I like that. I like them there. Okay, good. That's good. Um, paper. Move my B pack over here. And what did I do with my paper? This is the sewing. Let's move the sewing over there. And I think what I would back them with, actually, do I have? I do believe I have. Yes. Have a piece. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do this on here for all of them. I'm going to have to pop a hole again in here, which is not a problem because I'm going to put some sorry silk, I think, in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's glue these on. Ooh, got a bubble. That was not a shock. That was just that little bubble popping. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember that. I don't know what it was called. Maybe somebody out there remembers what it was called. But we used to buy it at the store. You know, we get it at the little, <clears throat> little corner store where we would go, you know, for our, you know, milk and bread or whatever you might have run out of or the candy or the gum or whatever, you know, the chips, the Sunday paper, that kind of thing. Just a little neighborhood store. And um, they would have, you know, all the stuff like that for the, the kids to buy. And I cannot remember what it was called, but it came with a little straw like this and a tube of this gunk. And you took the gunk and like a, you squeezed it out. You popped the top. When you unscrewed the top of the tube, um, yeah, it just fits. When you unscrew the top of the tube, um, it had like a foil covering over the top <clears throat> and um, you would just pop the uh, pop a hole in that. I think the top had maybe like a little thing that you could, I can't really remember. And you'd pop a hole in that and um, you'd squeeze out a, a ball of this goop and you'd fit it around the end of the straw, okay? And it was drier than this but you'd fit it around the end of the straw and then you'd blow through the other end of the straw and it would make these big plasticky bubbles. And if you didn't get it just right, um, like if you didn't get all the air holes covered so that it was solid, when you would start to blow it, it might start to blow and then it would pop and it would make that snap, that sound just like that. But if you got it right and you had enough goop on the end of the straw, you could blow it up and make sort of a plastic, soft plastic balloon, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's what, I don't know what it was, but it was kind of red and blue and green or whatever. These really not really attractive colors, quite honestly. 
but uh, that's going way back, way back into the into the early 60s, early to mid 60s there. So yeah, I remember that. So maybe somebody out there remembers that too, and you know what it was called, but I I can't remember for the life of me. I don't I don't think I could. I don't. I'm not sure I knew what it was called then. You know. I just knew what it was. You saw it came in a little little cardboard box like that with the straw and the tube of goop, whatever it was. But hey, you know, it was fun. It was fun. So, so when that bubble, that glue bubble, when I went to take it off and it snapped like that, that's just what it reminded me of. It was that same sound all right, so let's try to get this a little straighter. I'm trying to make sure that I get it down far enough, but it's just, just wide enough to, um, I'm looking for my, my little guy again. Here we go. It's just wide enough to uh, cover these tags. So let's put that over here. Go ahead and press this down. This helps to get the glue to the edges, but it also helps to get any ridges out of here. Um, why is it sticking up? Am I? No, I'm not. I thought maybe I might be overlapping, but I'm not. Um, maybe I pushed that one in, you know, to make that little pop in the middle, and I pushed it maybe a little too tight or something. I don't know, because it just feels like there's something else underneath there. So, all right, now my little wipey again, get out any spare glue from in here. Okay. All right. Now it does get tricky with this. I should have done this before I did the tops because trying to cut this sometimes is not easy. So I'm gonna go in here cut these down and then I'm gonna have to make mm, I think I am gonna have to make um, let me just get this cut quickly it's easier to try to not do it with the stiff cardboard next to it so cutting around this stuff is not easy to do and doing it neatly so it would have been better had I covered the back with the paper before I did this. And this still isn't right, but it'll be easier for me to go back and trim um, what's still hanging over without all this extra paper in the way. So this side wasn't too bad. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to get close without cutting the pocket, you know, the little, well, the pocket, because that's what it is. All right, that's not bad. Okay, glue on me here. All right, but you see how difficult, and I'll have to go back and clean that up because that gets hard. Gets hard to trim. So I'll go back on it and I'll, glue it down a little better. So yeah, see, I made a, a good pop on this and that's what was causing it to be so resistant to me. I'll try going from this side and going around, and trimming that down. I know this is tedious and I apologize for that but I would like to get these on before I get you guys off for the night. So, okay, I tore a little there. So let's get a dot on that one. And that seems okay. Let's go ahead. This one I think I tore a little bit, yep. Get a dot on there. Come on. 
one little dot. That's all I need. How could that have plugged up so quickly? All right, get my pin over here. Alrighty, get that glue off my finger and put that down. Okay, trim that one. I said, I know this does get tedious sometimes, but it is all part of the process. So, I just try to be reasonable about that. All right, there we go. I'm going to fold this back and try to get a little ink in here, too. Once glue gets on it, it does get a little hard to make it ink up. But, all right, let's get some there along the edges and I really think I did that one already but that's good all right let's hope this one goes a little quicker let's hope okay Go from this way down, hopefully. Getting what I need, not quite. So, all right, let's just get rid of this part, hopefully. These look pretty, but like I said, it's <laughs> if you forget to back them or something. And I mean, I could have kept them plain, but I really don't have anything plain showing on this. Everything is covered with paper, so I really didn't want to leave them that way. You know what I mean? So, oh, no, that's okay. All right, and I've got all of this, <laughs> all of these little brown things, which drive me nuts. All right, let's go to the back, it's still tearing the paper. It is really difficult to not tear the paper, at least for me it is, when I go around here like that. So let me get this one down. Okay. All right. And we'll ink the back here. All right, and then one more. And then we're gonna put it on, or put them on. And then we will call that a night. For this video and the next one the next video should be for Saturday uh, no it's for Friday I'm sorry probably Friday and it's usually the forgotten things on Friday but I have a feeling <laughs> it may not be the forgotten things this Friday it may just be Another part of the process stuff. I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to see what pans out with that. So, not sure at the moment what we're going to do. That one doesn't look too bad. Okay. Go around this one and down this side. Hopefully, there will be no other tears. That may have caused a tear. No, not really. Okay. Good, good. And we'll go ahead and get this stuff trimmed. I'm going through some glue that was on the outside here. And I'm right up against this cardboard. You know, uh, the cardstock, rather. Or 
whatever that is, file folder. Okay. And then I just have to put some new holes in this. And then, whoops, <laughs> missed. <laughs> and then I can, because I can put the um, ribbon or the, sorry, uh, silk in uh, pretty much any time. It should not be a problem. Okay, so that's that one. All right, <laughs> got another one of those bubbles again. I'm gonna glue these on with the um, art glitter glue because it will hold it better. Let me get my scrappies off and out there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this this way so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to get this in the middle as best as possible. Let me see if I can get, I should have, yep, there's my little guy. All right, so this says three and a quarter. Because I'm moving it all over. Okay, let's, let's just go back to the three and a quarter. And how close do I come here? Ooh, three and a quarter. Okay, so that's pretty good. So in order for me to not move this, <laughs> I'm gonna try, nah, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and put the glue on. Put a good portion. And again, I'll just have to go over this with a piece of paper, you know, the spine, to make sure that, uh, And I'm gonna go to three and a quarter, give or take, and wrap that right around there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back and press it down from here. Okay. I want it good and flush. I'm just pushing it with my finger up against the side of the spine here. Okay, so hopefully that'll stay better. We'll glue this one on, and now it's just a matter, either side of this one, um, putting it where I think I want it. All right, I think that looks good. I can get you to stay where I want you. All right, I'm gonna have to open this one up because I'm kind of pushed it and then it went up on the panel itself. So this one's all right. Let's just leave it there to stick. But this one, no, I'm okay. I am okay. There's a lot of glue, so it's gonna take a minute for that to dry, but I wanted a good portion on here so that when it does dry, it's really adhered. So we could do that and it'll be good and dry. Okay, so we want this one about, I'm just trying to make these as even as possible. So that looks pretty good, I think, right about there. All right, and we're just gonna let that, let me try pressing it again this way Pressing it down with the spine. Okay, try to give it a good press because it's hard for me to do it there. So that is what we have then. Let me close up the glue. We'll do a quick review again. And we are getting there. I was gonna say we're almost there, but I don't know that we're almost there. So this is what we have then. I think, like I said, this is the cover for now but I think I'm gonna actually somehow put the, the journal up here. I'm not sure how yet. Um, this will now get a piece, another piece of paper that's gonna come down here, and then these will flip. Open, open, open. We have a tuck spot under there. We have, um, when you flip this out, we have the envelope that we made with the tuck spot here. Um, we have this that opens up. We have this that opens up. We have a tuck spot here. We have a pocket here and the triple or the offset belly band here. 
So that is what we have so far. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I'll probably do some other things. Maybe I'll go back and start doing a little bit of decorating or I'll make the little tags for here. I have to punch the holes in and stuff like that. I'll do a little bit more off camera and uh, try to pre-cut and get things ready for, um, uh, you know, doing whatever it is I'm gonna come up with doing next. I don't know. Um, probably gonna be working here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet with this. Um, but that is where I am at the moment. I think I've come to a point now, once I do this, um, I've come to a point where I think it would be time to stop in here because I need to figure out what I'm going to do here. And then we're going to start working on the outsides. I'll, I'll put a paper here and I will put a paper here off camera as well. So that's what we've got so far, guys. So that's gonna be it for tonight. So in the meantime, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, guys.